What's up America? This is Kim and Neil with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. So today we're going to talk about a self-defense tip. It's a technique I've learned it about 10 years ago. Uh, I don't actually know where originally. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of different people making comments about what martial art it came from. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. I know it's a technique that works really, really well. It's very, very simple. And I'm going to show it to you guys here. It's a choke defense. Uh, if you watch any defensive videos, um, YouTube channels, you're, you're, you'll see this out there, but I wanted to put it out there because again, it's something that we teach and it works really well. So this uh, is a choke defense. Now, where would this realistically happen? So I'm not saying that someone's trying to choke you isn't serious, but for the most part, this is mostly an intimidation thing. This is a, a dominance thing. This is where someone is trying to uh, use this as a show of force against somebody. It's not necessarily a, a technique that's necessarily uh, used to do serious damage. I think it's more or less an intimidation tool. So this would be an example where uh, a larger person like myself will try to choke him, not necessarily against the wall or anything, but they just grab them to try to show them. It's like you're gonna you do what I, I want you to do type of thing. And the cool thing about this technique uh, is its simplicity. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it first just to show it to you and then Kim will do it as well. And the nice thing about this is I'm going to literally put my hands in my pockets. I'm not going to use anything at all uh, in order to defend myself. And it works. And you can try this. Uh, I guess that sounds a little weird, but try this on your loved one, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Kim uh, is going to choke me, and uh, I'm going to defend myself. Very, I'm going to walk you through it. So this time, Kim's going to do it lightly because if she does it really hard, not that it won't work, I uh, can't talk as well. So she's going to choke me, but just so I can at least talk to you right now. So again, I'm not going to use my hands on this one. I'm going to keep my hands down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take either shoulder. It's up to you, dealer's choice here. And I'm going to take that shoulder. So hold on for one second. And I'm going to bring it up nice and tight, as tight as I can. And I'm going to turn. So now that you kind of see what I'm going to do, so he's going to choke me here. I'm going to grab, I'm going to bring my, elbow, or my shoulder up. And I'm simply going to turn, okay? Now this time, I probably won't be able to talk as well because Kim's going to really grip down hard on this one. Uh, and I'm going to show you that, again, I'm not going to use my hands or anything else, uh, how this works. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, and again, I haven't even moved my feet in this one. Obviously, realistically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a step back. I'm going to make a big movement on this. I'm going to take my shoulder. I'm going to throw it forward. Uh, I'm just doing this to try to be as minimal as possible, sure that it will work, okay? I'm simply just taking this and turning. If I do the full movement, so again... I chin up and I move. There's no chance he's going to be able to hold on to that. So, again, uh, for a show of dominance, that type of action, this is a great one to get out. So, I'm going to do it to Kim now. We'll do it uh, easy the first time. So, again, I put my hands here. She's going to take one, out, one, one shoulder up, go a little bit slower, and then turns. Okay? So, this time we'll do a little bit more full force. Okay? And Kim will be able to get out of it without even using your hands. Keeping in mind, there's no rules involved here. Like, you can't use your hands, you certainly can as well if you needed to. So for example, if Kim came up here and I did this technique, there's no reason why as I turn, I couldn't also come on, I couldn't also use my hands in here and get in here and use elbows and things like that. Obviously, you know, there's no nice way to do this. If you're in a violent encounter, the only way to win that violent encounter is with a higher level of violence. I mean, that is the nature of the beast. So. Uh, hopefully, you never have to use a technique like this, right? But uh, uh, try it. <laughs> have a great night, people. Give it a shot. Uh, but it is something that uh, if you ever need to, hopefully, it, uh, again, you never use it, but it, it could potentially save your life. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. I love it because you don't really have to think. It's not like, well, if your hand's in this position and your hand's here, it's just a simple technique that's easy to remember. What was that? The Napoleon Dynamite. If you guys ever want to watch a funny movie, if you haven't seen that one. And there's a Rex Kwon Do. Is this guy, he does this like uh, goofy, it's like joke of a like defensive class. And he comes up there and the, the character Napoleon Dynamite like grabs his arm. Or one of the characters, I don't remember. They grab his arm. He's like, no, not that arm. No, this arm. It's like, <laughs> it was just hilarious. But I mean, I guess if you guys have had any type of experience with, uh, with self-defense training, sometimes there's, there's some kind of wonky stuff out there that's not really legit. And it's like, well, but wait a minute, you got to do it this way. Well, that's not how life works. It doesn't right? really translate into real life use. Right. So just something, a fun, easy technique, not fun. <laughs>
<laughs> and we're all about reality. Wow. <laughs> we're all, hey, listen, that's how you get down. That's, that's up to you. I don't know. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already subscribed here on YouTube, find us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Rumble, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always, it's always better, better to be judged, judged by, by 12, 12 than carried by 6. six.